Oh, gosh. You're, you're the first one on the video again tonight. Look yeah. at that. How about that? <laughs> and the second happy face. All right, so what vehicle are we taking? Well, I don't know. Maybe Brigham. Do we ask Brigham about that? We, I can do it. Okay. All right. John, you're the you're the man of the hour. You can't run away from the camera. No, I don't want to be much on the camera. <laughs> well, that was what your you complaint. We have to have no one else. We have to have the explanation video of what we're doing tonight. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode. We got a bunch of cowboys rounded up again tonight, and tonight we're gonna do something that you probably have never seen ever. Who's gonna get? Hey, I need somebody to do the intro video. Dallin, come on. I don't know how to do the intro. It's very easy. All you do is you say what we're doing tonight. We're gonna use this frog jig and we're gonna go catch some bullfrogs. Frog grabber. First of all, so you just open this thing ladies up. and gentlemen, that's John Stevens right there. <laughs> I've got you so zoomed in right now. Down opens up that frog gig and then with this long pole, check this out. Go for it. Boom. Just like that. So what do you do? You, you just jab them with it and it just closes? Got a trigger right in the center of it. Okay. I like this bigger than, better than the prongs because the prongs... Kill them? Sometimes you got to jab them in the mud. If they're laying on a lily pad, you can't hit them hard enough. Gotcha. And they get away. All right. We're loading up. Here we go. This is never a good way to start a trip. We'll do the 460 AC. crossing that canal. Yeah. There's a lot of sketchy places down there. How much like rain did you get? Long. You must have had a two or three or four inches. 1.25 was the biggest that we had. But 1.25 here with the clay is, is horrible. Oh. It's, it's like three inches in town. Hmm. Well, well, we'll see what happens. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We're in the video. We're making a video. That's he's gonna quit the. He's Steven gonna quit the, here with his GoPro. <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna quit the ER and just go Make GoPro. Us the <laughs> I'll try. See ya. Yeah. Have fun. Down just heard the first one. Hopefully this mic is picking it up. Down yonder somewhere. We're just sitting here waiting for it to get a little darker. By a little darker. Uh, completely dark. Yeah. Not quite there yet. I'm seeing a, hearing a second sound down there. All right, we got two. That's. <laughs> South, uh, John says music to his ears. Southwest quadrant. Southwest quadrant. I, think I hear like at least three of them right now. That's what we're here for, boys. Alright, what are predictions? Um, Got a quantity predictions? I guess about ten. Ten? Yeah. Man, I was thinking more like five. I was 
I was gonna go in the middle. I was gonna say eight. Eight. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, really? Seriously. Is this the only pond we've got, or do we have another one somewhere? This is like really the only one we've ever used. Really? We just like walk around several times. Is this the one we saw that snake? That like king snake or? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Duck? That would be a duck. See anything out in Barely, dude. <laughs> hey, can I get a little shout out as a spot right there? Like, what a spot. Basically, had to point right to it. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> hey, it's on a fish. That's a big one. I know, I, th I thought he was going for the punch here. I was like, <laughs> bold. <laughs>
So the process of cleaning these guys and cooking them up actually was pretty simple. I was surprised. So, and yes, I stole all this from other YouTube videos, so I'll post a link to one of those YouTube videos so you guys can check that out. First thing you do is you take a sharp knife, which this is not one, clearly, and uh, you make a cut in the skin of these frogs. And I did it just on the back here. What you probably want to do is actually complete it all the way around. Then you grab a nice pair of pliers, and you take that skin and you pull it and it should come off completely off both legs, exposing the meat on both legs. Kind of a messy process. Make sure you're pulling away from your face, obviously. So as you can see, because I didn't complete that cut on the bottom side of the frog, they, um, I had to recut that and pull again with those, those pliers, so. Once you get the skin clean off those legs, it's really helpful to have a good pair of shears. And so bust out your shears, clip off the end of those legs, and then you'll see that I clip off the legs right at the hips, right above the hips here. And uh, I was surprised it took quite a bit of pressure to get through that bone there but man without those shears it would have been a real pain in the butt after detaching those legs from the body just cut right between the middle of the those legs and you have individual legs that you can fry up so for my marinade i used sweet dragon pineapple paradise which is like a soy sauce an infused soy sauce that i got from none other than the rustic miner and then a little bit of milk probably a, i don't know a 50 50 concoction there was really no science behind this i just kind of just threw it in a bag and just went for it so pour a little bit of here and then a little bit there and honestly i don't think i got to these bad boys for like two or three days so they just marinated in that for like two or three days Mix them up really nice and good, and then, boom, throw those in the fridge. So a few days later, I got the legs out of the fridge and got things ready to fry them up. You can kind of see them set out here, and I'll explain them as we go. So first, I heated up on medium to three-quarter heat, just some vegetable oil. You can pick whatever oil you want. And then uh, I grabbed some of the barbecue rustic seasoning, rustic minor seasoning, and just sprinkled that on both sides of the legs to start out. This stuff tastes so good. There's an awesome smoky flavor that I just love. I dipped those into a barbecue seasoning and egg mix, covered them really, really good, and then into the breadcrumb and flour mix. Again, trying to cover just every inch of those guys. Then as you can imagine, straight into the hot oil. And I can't exactly remember how hot I got these things internal temperature wise, I think I was going for like a poultry type temperature. So like 150, 160. And that ended up turning out perfect. You can see that these guys are golden brown on the outside. And uh, when we cut them open, they were cooked all the way through the core. So I was blown away at how good these things tasted. You know, you think of something that rolls around in the mud and nasty pond water all of its life, but these things tasted as good as any game meat that I've ever had. So I would give it a shot and see how you like it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support of the channel.